Hey everyone, welcome to the video of the week. Today's video of the week is 15 things that I want to see coming to the Sims console. One of them actually was announced today, so I'll give you the information for that as well, which is the first one I'm going to do. Because um, I wrote these down a couple days ago, um, and then today i seen that they were announced. Um, so the first one was supposed to be the expansion pack Get Famous, but um, Get Famous was announced to be coming to the consoles on February 12th, which I'm very excited about. Um, I'm looking forward to making some of my Sims, even in my Sims series, uh, famous um, in some sort of way, possibly even make a new series possibly revolving around Get Famous. That could possibly be a fun thing as well. Um, but who knows? That's down the line a little bit. Um, number two, we have University slash Get to School Pack, which um, pretty much revolves around University. So a couple, in Sims 3, they did have University, and it was and a pack that I keep hearing multiple times um, was an awesome pack. I've seen the trailers, I've seen gameplays of it, and uh, it does seem like it would be a fun pack. So I can imagine if they brought it into The Sims 4, some of the things that Maxis has could um, come up with um, for The Sims 4 would be really amazing. But if they can do the university pack, I kind of thought maybe they could do like a high school uh, in that pack where. You get to follow your kids the school kind of similar to that of certain jobs that you have such as the um de uh, detective career as well as the um scientist and etc careers that you get to actually go with them but it'd be interesting to actually go with them to school and see how things go i think it'd be really really interesting um number three is a tropical island expansion aka island paradise expansion another pack i believe they've had in the past and it was um a really really fun looking pack i think it was pretty much revolved around like a tropical island like hawaii in a sense uh it would be quite interesting to have your sims not only not just have to go on vacation there but like kind of have some vacation spots like you can go vacation there but you can also actually live there i think that'd be quite interesting and a different type of um area that you could add to the game i think that would be quite unique and because i mean we do have like desert deserty areas but we don't really have a tropical area in the sims and addition to being able to play in the ocean water in the sims would be absolutely fantastic um, for number four, we have, um, more careers. Now, I'm a person that I love playing The Sims. I've played The Sims for quite some time, um, on and off screen for you guys, um, and off screen also for just enjoyment in life. Um, and one thing that always comes up in my personal preference is yes they do have a good bit of careers added to the game that you can have your sims become certain types of careers such as detective and etc however i've took notice that there is some major major careers that they could add to the game such as a um teacher and more another fun one i thought would be i would add in here because it technically is considered a career in my book um and that is becoming a landlord so you have if you run a apartment then you pretty much have a landlord but you really don't see them much or whatever unless there's issues in that thing but how about if your sim could actually buy a house and or a an apartment or whatever and then rent it out to another sim and gain money that way i think it would be fun it'd be actually realistic because some people do that i mean some people use that as a source of income in the lives number five is supernatural creatures so currently the sims has aliens and also vampires um in the games but it'll be quite interesting to see like more supernatural creatures being introduced to the game i believe they've had some in the past 
besides that. Um, but I would love to see, personally, I would love to see them incorporate werewolves, witches, and etc. to the game. I think it would bring a, a different dynamic to the Sims game. And me, as a Sims player, I love working with all these different types of Sims. And everyone has their own unique personality. And having something like a werewolf or whatever can add to that. And for story cases, it could really be interesting as well. Number six, we have more personality traits. So what I mean by that is each set of Sims will have the possibility of having like three different traits or whatever to showcase their personality. However, I think they need more diverse personality op options as well. I know they have a good bit, but they should add a little bit more like... Um, like your sims could have different things about them like they like or whatever and I think that would be quite interesting to add that. Also, kind of like people have said before in other videos that I've checked out, like allowing you to choose your favorites for your sims. Like you could choose your sims favorite um, television channel, your sims favorite food, um, etc. Like that. I think that will be really interesting. Number seven is my first pet pack so my first pet pack is a pack that's already out for the sims it's out for pc and etc but it's not out for consoles where i play it um and we do have cats and dogs but i think it'd be quite interesting i've never really played it i've never seen really people play with my first pets pack but i think that's something that i personally have been wanting for quite some time um then we have number eight which is to after school activities or in more teen based jobs or teen based jobs for adults as well. So what I mean by that is I think they should add more after school activities. I know Scouts is a part of an after school activities, but they should add more like you could join like ballet um, or you could join basketball or something like that. It would be quite interesting to see that as well as more teen based jobs and teen based jobs for all ages so teen based jobs pretty much like um jobs that like starter jobs like working at mcdonald's etc but you should be able to use them all the way up to whatever age you want to um even adulthood because once they hit once you age up your teen sim up from a teen to an adult you automatically lose that job and i think you shouldn't I think you should have the opportunity to keep that job if you should choose because there is adults that work at places like McDonald's and etc and that would be like first base jobs in a sense. So number eight is updated babies. What I mean by that is pretty much the Sims when you have babies in the Sims all they pretty much do is sit around in their ba uh, bassinet thing and the only time you really interact with them is when you have to feed them or they have a dirty diaper and you have to clean them. So with that, there's really not much op options there and you should really be able to like pick up your baby and carry him around the house and etc. I think that would be adding a little bit more dynamic to the game. I think that as well as towards like the second half of your baby's thing, I think you should be able to like Witness their first steps and stuff like that. Make it more realistic. It'd be more like a fun-based game. I think if um, they had like these monumental moments in parenthood's lives um, added to the game. Number ten is a sleepover DLC or whatever. So sleepover DLC pretty much means if you have two kids Sims or whatever. The only way you can have them sleep over is if they have like a romantic relationship. But if they're like cousins or whatever, why can't you have like your cousins or whatever sleep over or whatever? I personally would sleep over at my cousins' houses when I was younger, and um, it was something that I loved doing, and vice versa or whatever. It was something that was really really fun, and it's something that happens on a day to day basis. As well as I also went on here and added a side note with this is to be able to pretty much hire a babysitter in your family. So, like, if you want a family member to babysit your sim, 
that should be fine, I think. Number 11 is cars. Now, I know Sims is not an open world, and that's absolutely fine. All I'm asking for is your Sims to pretty much be able to actually own and choose a car that they want, and pretty much, even if, like, teach your teen Sims how to drive, like, make it more realistic. That's what I think it, this is uh, the basis behind wanting cars so much for me. Number 12 is exotic pets. Now I know that The Sims um, allows you to own foxes as well as a raccoon, but being able to own more pets like exotic pets like pigs and horses and etc. will be quite interesting as well because, I mean, having these exotic pets would be quite different and it is realistic because some people in the world do own pigs, some people do own cows, and they could even open up the pack of having a farming pack as well. Number 13 is the teen style pack. So this is something I think that desperately needs for teens as well as um, children because teens and children do not really have a lot of um, clothing options. I'm my personal preference. They don't have a lot of style, and a lot of the same, the teens now kind of have, like, different, um, clothing styles that they wear, and, like, even if it's, like, a, like, Sims take on it, it'll be quite interesting to see, like, they could do, um, for, just for example, like, a Hollister, but they can call it something else, like, Simister, or something like that, just to make it seem like that's legit. Um, number 14 is New World Like Newcrest. So Newcrest is a world in The Sims that you pretty much have all, full creative control on building and putting whatever you want in it. There's no really any lots in it at all. Um, and I think that's something that we really need. We need a new world, even if it's not create a world thing, but we need a new world like Newcrest that is pretty decent size, but kind of gives us the opportunity to build whatever we want. I mean, technically, you could do that in any place because you could get rid of anything, but having that world there would be awesome. And number 15 is the Disabled Sims. Now, this one I've heard mixed reviews about because some people are saying they shouldn't have it, some people they should. But me personally, I think it's adding a realism to the game. If they should have disabled sims, like sims that are in wheelchairs and sims that have to use walkers and etc., I think that that is bringing realism to the game because of the fact that, sadly, the, some people in real life have to deal with that, and sims are the closest thing to a human being. And that's what I think brings the realism in it. So those are 15 things I would like sims to incorporate into the consoles sometime in 2019. Some of them I could see happening. Some of them I don't see happening. Some of them I want more than others. Some of them I don't really want, but I've seen others wanting. Um, so I caught, I kind of thought it through and decided I really wanted some of them as well. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. And the last fan choice day post will be posted immediately following this video. I posted day one and day two. They are up, um, day one is on Facebook exclusive, and day two is on all my social media. Day three will be up on all my social media as well. Um, but, with that said, um, make sure you guys comment on day three, two, or one for a shout out this Sunday in the video of the week, which will be 10 men I want to see return in this year's Men's Royal Rumble. And, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace. Bye.